And now we have our film strip. Only we don't want it red. Use the magic wand and pick your red and let's make it a gray. Not too shabby. So finally, we're going to add some effects to this film strip. The film strip itself well, isn't very interesting just looking straight on, so we're going to give it a little personality. First, we're going to group this object so it works all as one unit. You can select everything with Control A or click and drag. Right click and group the object. Now that you have this grouped, we're going to go to the effect palette and apply a wrap effect or a warp effect rather. I always get those confused. So choose warp and it doesn't matter which one you choose because you can get to all of them in this effect but we'll choose flag because that is the one we want. Okay so scary dialog box. Sliders, numbers to type in, options. Don't worry about a lot of this. This is all really simple. Click on preview to turn this on. So we're seeing Oh, okay, it's kind of waving it like a flag here. Now, you have the option of typing in your values or using these slide bars to get the achieved effect. Now, what I like to do is I like to use the slide bars and then type in the next whole number to remember what I did. So, let's leave the bend at 50%. Horizontal will go to uh, 39, that's fine. And vertical will kick to 30. And we'll round that 39 to 40. And you can hit OK. Hey, not bad. Let's give it one extra pizzazz. And we'll go to Effect again, Stylize, and Drop Shadow. Let's see what the default drop shadow yields. Mm, not bad at all. I, actually, I think I like it. Um, let's turn the opacity down to maybe 50% and turn the blur up to 10. That takes a second to process. Times I wish my computer was faster and hit OK. Now we've got ourselves a pretty decent looking film strip. You can take this now and use it, scale it, tweak it. It's it's yours to tweak and, and change as you will. Before I let you go though, there is one thing I want to show you. If we scale this film strip down, we'll notice something. When you go to rotate it, you'll see that the blue box at its original square shape is still existent, so when you rotate some bad stuff starts to happen. As you can see, our film strip doesn't look like how it should and it's it's getting all distorted and maybe you don't want that, maybe you don't want it just straight. Um, so let's edit undo that. And I'm going to show you how to preserve this effect that you created. Let's hold down Alt, click and drag and make a second film strip and we'll use that expand command that we used before and this time we're going to expand the appearance so go to object menu and select expand appearance so what this does is it keeps the group and it keeps the wave and it keeps the drop shadow only now if you ungroup it it doesn't go back to being the square shape it's stuck in this form forever so there's positive and negative things about this if you look at our object on the right you can see that when we rotate it has no problem it stays exactly where it should and it looks exactly like how it should but if we ever wanted to edit this shape we're kinda stuck in the way it's curved we're stuck in that but if we take our object on the left and we want to say drag out a piece of it we can select an old piece and drag it out and you can see you can make edits to the original shape and in real time it updates the effect so you can kind of play around with that and uh, have some fun it's basically going to change based on how you need it if you need this to be flexible save it like this or make a copy and expand it and use that how you will but uh, at that time it's yours to play with so you know have a little fun 
give it some backdrop here simple stuff I can't make it too pretty sometimes I get accused of spending too much time <laughs> on something as you can see with the original shape you can pull it out expand it you can even use that magic wand to select your outlines of the white boxes turn those into a gradient so you get a real different look depending on what you want to do and add some type to that movie slick huh yeah okay I've made things better but uh, you know we'll leave it at that so that's a quick and simple film strip in Adobe Illustrator uh, go have fun and download the sample file straight from quintildesigns.com